Hi, I'm Henrik Stenson. And I'm Annika. And welcome to Callaway Tour Tips. Today we're going to talk about how we pitch the ball. And we're going to see who does it best. Let's go. I'm sure there's a few people who are going to be interested in the wedge setup. What, what kind of degrees do you have on your wedges? Well, I love, I love the wedges. Therefore, I have a lot of wedges. I have a 60 degree, a 54 and a 48 and then my pitching wedge. So literally, I mean, it, it covers everything that I need from zero yards to 120 yards. Yes, I mean, here we got, we got 50 yards, 55 and 65 yards to the three different pins. So we're not really looking at any, any full wedge shots here. It's certainly going to be down to a lot of feel for me. For this front right 150 yards, I'll definitely uh, play that from, from a more open face with my 58 and try and hit a higher one with a bit of check there to stop it because we don't have that much green to work with. If I'm going into to a back pin, I'll, I'll probably play more square face, maybe a little bit further back in the stands and drive it in a little bit. It's more, more towards a pitch than, than it is towards a full swing. As soon as I get up to about 90, 100 yards, then it feels to me like a more hitting normal swing. And you have the more, the more of a normal setup then yeah, too? Here more you open a up a little setup. bit. Yeah, I might hang the face a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I might stand a bit more, a bit more narrow, mm -hmm. more narrower in the, in the stance. And it's, it's more of an arm swing on these shorter ones. Oh, that's fun that you do more arms. For me, I really feel like I need to use my upper body um, for more of the consistency because that's how I get my distance control is to use my upper body and not so much lower, lower body. For me, it's, it's, more, it's more with the, uh, I don't feel like I need to hit it very hard. So I just feel like it's very much a, a small fluent and, and soft motion. I don't really need to, to try and generate any speed in, in these shorter shots. So yeah, so then now I'd, I'd play more, more of a square face and kind of in the middle for a slightly flatter trajectory for the middle, middle flag. It's pretty good there. Yeah, it's 65 yards to the, to the back flag and we've got a little bit of a tear to come up. So I'll, I'll probably go more squared, square face uh, and drive it in a little bit flatter again with less, less spin to try and get it to come back to that back pin and back shelf and then really I just mic drop and I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, the key is obviously finding what works for you and, and what works for me is I, I call it my basic shot. So again, I, I like to use more my upper body and uh, just have the same ball flight on whether it's 50 or whether it's 55 or, or 65. And then once I get past my distance, then I move up to, you know, my 54, which, you know, that's when I reach 90, 95. So yeah. I have a few more clubs for the shorter distance. But, you know, the key when I'm, I'm hitting this, just like you mentioned, to set up a little open, gives me more feel and have the stands pretty close. But the idea is to swing through and then kind of just get good feedback every time I hit. I think that's the key when you hit shots. So let's go to, to the little further one, which I believe is 65. And I think you made a good point there. It, if the green is flat, then you can have one type of shot, but yeah. you have another element here. You have a, you know, a ridge. So either you hit it high and stop on the top or the way you did, you know, hit it a little lower. Um, I'm going to try and hit it higher and just really fly it to the hole. Um, because I'm feeling good about my, my distance here. That's perfect. And what I see when I play with a lot of amateurs, and again, it's funny because they move a lot laterally. You know, they use their legs and I feel like they don't use their upper body. So I always tell people when they warm up, a really good thing is to just put your feet together and just feel like the upper body is doing the movement. Because you know, if you start moving, you're going to lose your balance. You're so this move, is move the bottom of the arc as well and get inconsistent exactly. striking. Exactly, and really know. feel like the club is coming down at one, you know, one point and not, you know, sometimes they come in fat and then, as you know, sometimes they come in a little thin. So putting the feet together and feel like the upper body is doing the movement and not so much moving this way. So you get a nice consistent hit there. So. It works for some. 
Anybody else want to take it on in a wedge competition before <laughs> me or? So this is a drill I used to do a lot, um, a pitching drill, working on my distance, my accuracy. I send out my caddy, in this case I'm sending out my husband Mike, but it's really, it was fun for me because I got good feedback yep. uh, every shot. So I thought maybe today you and I, the challenge will be that um, he's out there trying to catch our shots, 60 seconds, and see how many balls that he catches. You know, he, he's not supposed to run around, but just, you know, hopefully he can stand still as possible. Yeah. So, are you yeah, ready for that? Depends on how good we, uh, how good we uh, hit them, I guess. Yes, it's up yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, ready. Let's do it. Go for it. 50 yards away. All right, sweetie. Okay. That's better. That's perfect. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Go. I have time for one more. Focus. All right, so you got five, I believe. Five, okay. So let's see if uh, body fingers can catch more for me out there then. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not that tall, is he? Okay, here we go. Something in between the ball and the and the uh, ground. I know the pressure is <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. No, I better I better start delivering you. I think. Yeah. Now you're doing better. There. That's probably your best one, there, Henrik. He there grabbed you that one, wasn't he? Yes. Now yeah, you got that it. was that was semi thin. What were you doing before that? Were you just I don't being know. nice. All right. Give me a good one. That was your best one. Ah, oh, that's two steps. Close. Yeah, we kind of wrap it up with that. I, I know I certainly hit the, the most fat one. <laughs> <laughs> I won that competition. We'll, get, we'll have a rematch one day. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> if you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here.